Sarita Stibe, Operation Restoration, New Orleans, Louisiana. My name is Sarita Stibe and I am the founder and executive director of Operation Restoration. Operation Restoration is an organization that focuses on currently and formerly incarcerated women and girls. The organization's mission is to remove as many barriers as possible for women to be able to re-enter society successfully. Some of the barriers that women face when they are released from prison are barriers as it relates to housing, barriers as it relates to education, jobs. There are also barriers that people don't even know exist. When you are sentenced to prison, you know, you have your sentence and you may have your restitution or your fine, but what you don't know at that particular time is all the other collateral consequences of being a formerly incarcerated person, what type of toll that takes on your life. Operation Restoration supports currently and formerly incarcerated women and girls in Louisiana and nationally. When women are incarcerated, it impacts the entire family. So if someone's mother is incarcerated, their children are more likely to be displaced, to be put in foster care, to have negative health outcomes um, from those experiences. That's even more likely if the mother is incarcerated than if the father is incarcerated. So we try to help women and their children and their entire families to recover from that experience of incarceration. At the age of 19, I was sentenced to 120 months in federal prison in 20 years in state prison and $1.9 million in restitution all for the same crime. While I was incarcerated, I met some of the most amazing women and I really feel like they have a hand in raising me because I went to prison at 19 and are responsible for part of the woman that I am today. The reason why Operation Restoration was started is because when I was released, I didn't have that support system. I didn't have anyone to walk me through anything. There weren't really services that were available to women who were being released from prison, and I remembered all of the women that I left behind. So a lot of the work that we started working and doing here at Operation Restoration was born out of not just necessity and not forgetting the women that we left behind, but also wanting to be what I wish that I had upon release. We have 16 different programs at Operation Restoration. When clients come to us, a lot of the times they're experiencing homelessness or housing insecurity, and they are able to meet with a case manager pretty much immediately and go through an intake process to figure out exactly what their needs are. We are able to meet those needs as broadly defined as possible. So sometimes people need an ID, sometimes they need housing, sometimes they need a meal or groceries for their family or cleaning supplies, which has been really important right now. We really try to holistically meet those needs for the entire family the best that we can. Prior to the COVID-19 pandemic, we had 60 women who came in over a three month period that were looking for housing specifically. Um, all of them were homeless and all of them were mothers. We have 40 women who are currently enrolled in our college and prison program in partnership with Tulane University inside of Louisiana Correctional Institute for Women. We have 10 women who are enrolled in our high set class who come in weekly to receive services around getting their high school equivalency. Operation Restoration also has a closet. The closet was really, really important um, so women could have a place to go where they didn't feel ashamed or judged to get all of their needs. The majority of our staff and contractors are formerly incarcerated women, and I think that that is one of our greatest strengths is that we have women who know exactly what our clients are going through. Working with Operation Restoration has been the first time that I've actually been able to express that I've been formally incarcerated. It helps what I do. It, it, it changes everything about what I do to be able to tell a client or a student that I'm formally incarcerated because it makes them feel much more comfortable. Watching her over time make decisions to staff her organization with black women, with women who are formerly incarcerated, with women who have experiences. I've watched her show up for those women time and time again. One of the things about Sarita that I respect the most is her integrity. In many of the conversations that we're having about reform in Louisiana, often the people who are missing from those rooms where decisions are made are people who are most impacted by the system that we're trying to reform. And one of the things I love about Sarita and the way that she does her work is that she is always bringing those voices into the room with her, and she does it with a lot of power. Every time someone is released, being able to meet them there and like see the worry leave their face, it's just like the best. 
ever for me. With Sarita and her belief in me always made me believe in myself. That's what's so special about her with clients is that she makes them believe in themselves. So I think that's what's very important about what she brings to the clients.